Take a look at that. Big thanks to Bernhardt for sponsoring this episode. Barbecue is all about taking an inexpensive cut of beef and turning it into something delicious. Everything that we cook with nowadays is getting more and more expensive and that's what I'm gonna change. I found something that's going to make barbecue inexpensive again. This is beef belly and it's one of the most inexpensive cuts of beef that you can find nowadays. It is mainly used to make hamburgers and as we all know, hamburgers are cheap. And like with all inexpensive cuts, it comes with advantages and disadvantages. Just think about the brisket. It's a really tough piece of meat, but we made it work. We made it work so that we have tasty, delicious, juicy, tender beef. Now this has a big disadvantage. If you take a look at it, you see a lot of beautiful red meat, but you also see a lot of fat. That fat is what makes it inexpensive because the ratio from fat to meat is very poor. However, I like the price that it's coming at and I'm gonna make it work in my advantage. So what I gotta do is I gotta turn this piece of meat, think about it and turn it into something delicious. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it, but I'm first gonna show you what we're gonna season this with to get some flavor on it. I'm gonna use my explosive beef rubs. You can find the link to the recipe down below. Two tablespoons of salt, a tablespoon of paprika powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of ground pepper, a tablespoon of dried parsley, half a tablespoon of garlic, half a tablespoon of cumin powder, a tablespoon of whole mustard seeds, and a tablespoon of chili powder. Mix that up and that explosive barbecue rub is gonna go on this belly and I want a lot of it on there. Keep in mind, this rub is gonna enhance the flavors of the beef due to its salt, its garlic, its onion powder, and it's gonna make the whole thing pop. I'm gonna be smoking my beef belly on the pellet smoker from Bernhardt. I got all this fat on my beef belly. I want that fat to sit at the bottom. It's basically gonna protect the meat from drying out. And I want that fat to render out as much as I possibly can. So I'm not gonna use that traditional 120 degrees Celsius to cook this beef belly, I'm gonna raise up that temperature to 140 degrees Celsius. And to make sure that I get the temperatures right, I'm gonna stick a thermometer in the thickest part of the beef belly. I'm gonna close the lid, check on the pellets, and as you can see, I still have some pellets in my hopper. In this case, I'm using hickory, which goes really well with beef. I'm gonna switch it on and bring it up to temperature. And with smoking at higher temperatures, you're gonna have some problems with your meat. It's gonna dry out on the outside because you're cooking for a long time at a high temperature. And of course, we don't like dry meat. That's why we're gonna use this. It is time for the Mad Scientist Society's annual most evil invention in the world contest. This is an old fashioned coffee machine for the guys that don't know old fashioned coffee machine. This is what my mother used to make coffee in. I'm gonna use it as a high tech, super efficient flavor extracting machine. And I made another half batch of that beef belly rub to extract the flavors from. This is all gonna go in the filter. And the ratio is four cups of water with three tablespoons of explosive rub. And this is the result of the extraction of beautiful flavors. That's gonna go in my spray bottle, pump it, and now I'm gonna use this regularly to spray onto my beef belly. Look at that crust already forming. Things are starting to dry up. We're getting beautiful color of smoke on the meat and on the fat as well. So all I'm gonna do is give it a little spritz. There we go. And keep it nice and moist. I just got the notification from my thermometer that the beef belly is ready. It's currently at a temperature of 92 degrees Celsius and we got a beautiful crust on the outside. Look at what we build up. Fat rendered down nicely, good smoke color. That's what I'm looking for if I'm smoking something delicious. I'm gonna lift this off real carefully because we spent all the time and energy to render out the fat. You see all the fat rendered down, became nice and crunchy, and that's why I needed this at the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit more spray. This is ready to go into the oven, and that's where I'm gonna let it rest. 
The resting part of this process is very, very important. All that fat, it's got to be easy to digest. You know, when you bite into that fat and it's not properly rendered down, it's just so heavy and so intense. But when you rest it for a long period of time, after cooking it to higher temperatures, it actually becomes very, very delicious. So I'm going to set the oven to a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius and I'm going to let it sit there until tomorrow or at least 10 hours until you're ready to take it out and serve it up. And then it's time to open it up and take a look at the end result. A lot of the fat ran down. I even had to put it in a tray because it's just so much that comes off this belly. Whoa, take a look at that. <laughs> that rendered down insane. Let's put this on a cutting board and take a closer look. This thing is so soft and tender, I probably don't need to cut it at all, but I still want to take a look inside and get that clean cut. Whoa, that knife just runs through like butter. And look at that. That is all juicy meat, crunchy, crispy, filled with flavor, got a little bit of smoke ring on the outside. There you have it, beautiful piece of beef, and this is really inexpensive, so that's the good part. But wait, there's more. You can chop it up, put it on a little tortilla, dress it up with some sauce, some pickled onions, pickled chili pepper, and top it off with some fresh cilantro. And then you end up with this beautiful thing. Mmm, mmm, that's magic.